Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, today I'm really excited. Um, normally when it comes to a video like this, like I'm moderately excited, but today, girl, we're talking BoxyCharm, and I'm extra excited because it is the unveiling and discussion of their new premium box. I have the premium down here, and then of course their normal box um, up top there. Now I'm not gonna go overly specific into the details of BoxyCharm because guys, let's be real, there are so many damn sponsored posts and videos and blah, 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 everything um, when it comes to BoxyCharm that I don't wanna be that person that's just like let's talk about it like I just I have no interest so the overall rundown is that your normal boxy charm box went up to $25 and the premium is 35 a month and I believe in order to qualify for the premium you had to have been signed up for the regular box for at least a month in order to be on the list for this now I know a ton of people for whatever reason weren't accepted off of the wait list I was one and I'm like super excited about it but I guess they had a huge issue of like hey sign up on our wait list and then for whatever reason even though we knew how many people were on our wait list we don't have enough boxes and I'm just like can no one do math like I don't understand how how that happened I, to me it makes no sense in like having a wait list if you're not gonna be able to fill it in a way let's go ahead and dive in and I'm gonna start talking about the little guy here first the first thing in the box we have is this right here this is the pretty vulgar undercover lightweight concealer it's just a sampler card I'm assuming this doesn't count against your items or anything it's just like hey here's a sample if you wanted to try our concealer um, the next item we have is the celestial thunder palette now Dominique cosmetics also came out with their celestial storm palette which I did really enjoy now something to keep in mind if you were considering the larger version of this is that these shades right here are in that palette so you're automatically getting what is it like eight out of the 12 that are in that palette so just something to keep in mind but the shades in here I really like what they chose the next thing in here are these starry eyes self-indulgent warming eye masks what the starry eyes thing will begin to relax you and you can daydream or meditate or just have some me time and the warmth will last up to 20 minutes yeah I didn't do this um, I'll let you guys know later on in an update or something how these worked out because um, I'm not gonna do that now I don't uh, hmm okay next item we have here is a dose of colors liquid lip this is in the shade date night and it is a what is the oh it's like a deep ass red oh my god that could actually look really good with this outfit okay um we also have the oh I, this one i was <gasps> pause this i was so excited about this is the cypress um antioxidant dew quench and glow serum guys i am so into serums right now like serums and glowy this and love me that like i'm all about that so this i'm really excited about and i guess it's really good i've heard a lot of people say positive stuff about it now this last item this is the one that i actually snuck over on instagram to you guys because i was so freaking excited. I got a new bottle of my Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so hydrating. It's amazing on my skin. I love this. And my other bottle is actually out or I'm down to like the last little freckle in the bottom of it. And I love this. I oh, like this. Uh, this for me is worth the whole box. Alright guys, so now we're moving on the big box and your girl has some damn opinions. So, let's go ahead and talk about it. The first thing that everybody was excited about, myself included, is this little Miss Denona. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. And I'm really Really, really pumped about this I love the packaging I wanted to try it I have one of her larger palettes and I really like that as well so this I'm really excited about no complaints here and then from there we have <laughs> Oh, then from there we have these brushes and this is something I saw a lot of people getting in their small box and I got the big set in here and I have my own opinion of this which I'm gonna save for just a second from now but these are the boxy charm brand brushes there are these ones like on a stick that you do you know this whole business with right here great concept all that good stuff um I just love this is my favorite part guys they say that this little five piece kit right here retails for $65 65 dollars i'm like box it charm on it what the hell you talking about who are you trying to mess with with that right there look i'm sorry but what 65 dollars i don't think so next up here we have the kapari coconut rose toner this is their refresh and balance this i'm really excited about as well kapari is a really nice brand i haven't gotten to play around with them a ton but i love 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 toners anything like that you just got like a little spritz going on it's nice it's refreshing it's happy i love stuff like that um and then we have the nikita dragon um or dragon beauty um, under eye skin perfector stuff. It's that orange stuff that goes 
under your eyes. I'm not a big color corrector for under the eyes. I feel like concealer does it just fine, but I will give this a try. I've tried it before, wasn't in love with it, but again, I also don't have like a lot of discoloration there. So it's kind of like a play to your audience sort of thing, and for me, it just, I'm not the audience for this, but nonetheless, it's in there. Now next up, we have this guy from Becca. This is their Glow Gloss in Champagne Creme, and I don't have an issue with the fact that it's Becca, the gloss, anything like that, but I have heard a lot of other people say that this is both available now, TJ Maxx, Target, it's on clearance on Sephora, like, this was kind of one of those cheap products that they're gonna say retails really high, but really it's really cheap, like, this is one of those, and then last but not least, we have this, and guys, I just, hold on. I have an opinion on this. Okay, so this is this freaking eye cream. Now, this is QMS Intensive Eye Care Day and Night Eye Cream, and I have used this now three times. I wanted to get like a little bit of use out of it before I came on here because I'm not going to put this on right before I go in with other products because I know they're not going to work correctly. This is more of a like a super um, lightweight but kind of oily feel or slip to the skin kind of eye cream, and I knew, like I said, the other stuff wouldn't work on it, but here's my issue, okay? They say that this retails for $150, and and I, <laughs> I have such an issue with that. I feel like, and I'm just going to come right out and say it, I feel like BoxyCharm inflated the overall price of this large box to try and make it seem like some great value. And of the two boxes, I firmly believe that the smaller box is a way better value this month. Because yes, there are some things in the big box that were nice. But overall, like again, and I'm not talking about the quality. I haven't used anything. It's nothing like that. But just the overall quality. For example, saying that their brush set retails for 65 bucks. I I feel like they were like, hmm, how much do we need that to total? Hold on. We need that to be 65 bucks for this box to have the value. Okay, sounds good. $65. Like, it doesn't, it's not valued at that because no one has paid that for it. Like, absolutely not. And with this eye cream, my Tatcha, like one of my favorite eye creams is from Tatcha, and it's like $68. And I feel so guilty buying that, but it's an amazing eye cream. It works great. And everyone's heard of Tatcha. They are a known brand. So they charge 68 bucks and you can get away with it. But I've never heard of this brand. I've never heard of this in general. You guys can tell me if you have, but to say that this, like, right out of the gate, like, oh, this is $150, like, girl, no one even knows you. You can't say that. Who? I want to know who has actually paid that for this. I didn't look online. I didn't look up reviews, but I feel like for a lot of the products in the big box, they just inflated the value of things that don't have a lot of value, kind of like the Becca gloss, which we all know is on clearance right now, or, you know, that sort of thing. Like, you can buy that anywhere else for $6.99, but they're going to say that it retails for, what, like $22 or $18 or something? Yes, they're going to say that it retails for $22. And it's like, for me, it's just kind of an inflated cost to be like, oh, yes, well, this this box is worth $300. Well, it's not because I want to know the people that have paid that for it. That's just my little spiel on that. But I do want to dive in to the actual application, putting these things on my face and seeing how they work because that's why you're there. That's why I'm here. That's what we're doing. So let me go ahead and get ready for that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Guys, I don't know if you know this, if you're new to my channel, there's bloopers at the end, and today you're definitely going to want to watch them. I've been filming for 40 minutes, and I have literally nothing on my face right now, <laughs> because everything I touch is just falling, and like literally lights are falling, things are crashing, mics are behind my head, like I don't even know what's going on. So let's go ahead and just jump into the makeup. But I just wanted to let you know, if you are not aware, there's blooper reel at the end of this, and it's always worth watching, especially on a day like today. Now, let's go ahead and get started with this little guy right here. This is a serum. I'm going to use it as a primer. Um, this is the Cypress Antioxidant Dew Quenching Glow Serum, and it says that it lavishes skin with quenching encapsulated antioxidants, nurturing amino acids, and an array of soothing botanicals. Use as a lightweight hydrator or as a layering piece in your skincare wardrobe, retailing for $90. Okay, so on an applied, I have to say, I really like the way that that feels on my skin. It is very lightweight. It doesn't feel super oily, but it gives a nice light light glow on your skin. Oh, I kind of love that, actually. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go on to the rest of my face. I want to try a little bit of this out first. This is that pretty vulgar concealer, that undercover stuff, but it is just a little um, tester right here. This is the lightest shade, and I thought it would be kind of cool to take this and maybe... Yeah, that's like almost my exact skin tone. So I thought maybe we could use a little bit of this to like conceal some blemishes or something. All right, I think that it's a nice concealer. I don't think that it's anything, you know, that I would write home about. Nothing that's like overly special. 
Um, but I think it worked okay. I'd say it's like a medium coverage, slightly like natural leaning matte, just a little bit. It doesn't leave me dewy, natural, like glowy or anything like that. Just slightly more on the matte side, but all right, there's that. But next up, I'm going to move into a foundation. I'm just going to do this part really quickly. I'm going to apply my L'Oreal Pro Glow. This is in the shade 202 Creamy Natural, and I'm going to do that with a big old beefy boxy charm brush that they included, and we're going to see um, how we like that and if it works. Okay, so I got to be honest. I know that I was sipping some serious haterade on these brushes, all right? And I'm not going to say that I think it's worth whatever the price tag is that they're putting on it, but this brush actually did apply pretty nicely. Um, it didn't leave me streaky, which I really appreciate. It's very hard for a brush to not leave streaks on my face, and this one did not. I do feel like while applying it, I did have to kind of use it to press in a little bit, but I typically go over with a beauty sponge anyway, so I'm not mad at that. But guys, holy cow, this thing is shedding like crazy already. Like, I've plucked off probably eight hairs um make that nine okay cool like they're literally just coming out from everywhere I don't know what that's all about don't love it um but as far as the brush itself goes I think it worked you know nice it performed just fine I would probably use something like this more to blend out a cream contour something to that effect um just because for my foundation I'm really really picky and I don't know so I don't hate it I just don't know that I think again this set worth 65 bucks absolutely not but that's just my opinion now I'm also going to go ahead real quick like here and get some more products on we are going to use the Tarte Shape Tape for my concealer use that to apply under the eyes shape out the face all that good stuff and then we are going to go ahead and go in with some powder we'll use my charlotte tilbury magic powder on that all right so here we are i'm gonna go ahead and pause and let's go ahead and talk about a couple of things as you saw whilst i was applying my makeup number one tart shape tape applied just fine i did use a sponge to press that into the skin um just you know because i like using a sponge for that especially getting like up around my eyes um and then while i was playing around with the camera i realized my powder was over there so i had to get up anyways so i did zoom the camera in knowing that it would be more helpful if you guys were a little closer and of course you did see me give myself a couple spritz of this I felt like my skin was looking a little bit too matte a little bit too dull um so I didn't want that to become an issue going forward but now we're gonna go ahead and play around with this little guy from Natasha Denona because I'm so excited that it has these two cream options in here if you have been watching me for longer than a week you know that lately I have been die hard obsessed with cream blushes I've been using the ones from Colourpop a ton and I just can't stop so I'm very very excited to have this in my collection again and play around with it and it comes with two creams and then two powders so right here are the powders and then there's actually this little flip down right here for the creams which by the way wow natasha girl round of applause thank you so much for not being a total dumbass and giving us creams next to powders and expecting the two to not just like co-mingle and produce nasty makeup like it drives me crazy when brands are just like hey yeah real quick how about we put a powder right next to a cream and then just like let that like it oh it's not cute and so i love that there's that little protective thing in there like i'm very passionate about it as you can tell so going from there though i'm excited because leaving the cheeks unset means that we get to play around a little bit with these oh wow Wow. Ooh, I, I'm obsessed. I don't know how well you guys can see those on camera. I feel like my lighting today looks a little bit crazy. I don't know what's going on here, um, but I really, really love those. Oh my gosh, like texture 10 out of 10, and I can use that one powder as a blush topper. Oh my god, okay. Let's just get into it, Paige. Come on now, get your life together, girl. Get it together. I'm going to ever so gently just tap right in and apply some to my cheek. Oh, oh, oh. I know that. Oh my god. That's, a, that's, that's, oh God. Okay, well, let's spread the love. Oh, of course, I think I put it all on that side. That's great. Love that for me. Okay, blend it, blend it good. Da -na 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 -na. You must blend it. I'm actually gonna flip it back to the um, side that has a little bit of my other product on it and just see if I can use that a little bit. I had to work with it a little, but the pigmentation's beautiful, very nice and even, and it does settle into the skin stunningly, so I don't have an issue with the product, just something to keep in mind. Guys, I'm really sorry, I just realized I went to move on and I looked down and I was like, oops, guess what I forgot to use? Um, but I already told you guys, I've used it before. I'm not the biggest fan. So you know what? Maybe it's good that I didn't use this because I'll give it to a friend of mine. I have a friend actually that has like darker under eyes um, and that might be able to get some use out of this. So I'll go ahead and I'll just set this aside and you know, no harm, no foul there. You guys, I've used it before. But now having done that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the rest of my makeup just to give you a real brief rundown. I will lightly set the rest of my face with my Pixi Flawless Finishing Powder. This is in Translucent Number Zero. 
Pro with the Morphe JH01 brush just to lightly get everything settled down. I then will also go in with the Physicians Formula uh, bronzer trio that they sent me over and I will lightly bronze out the rest of my face. And from there, I'll do my brows with my Hourglass Brow Pencil. Um, just, you know, lightly feather them in, fill in the sparseness a little bit with my ABH Dip Brow Gel. And then we will go ahead, we'll come back on camera and we'll keep working with some of these products. All right, you guys, so I went ahead, I got those things done and I did just wanna mention, when I was talking about the Bronzer Trio from Physicians Formula, I actually have not talked about this on my channel yet. You'll probably hear me mention it again later. But um, they sent me over, I got an email from a girl, shout out Amanda over there. And she's like, hey girl, we'd love to add you to our PR list. And I was like, well, oh my God, that sounds amazing. And I didn't expect anything to come from that, but she sent me over these three little mini palettes. She sent me over a lip duo or a lip trio set and um, their skincare set from their Rosé All Day line. And I did unbox it over on Instagram. So if you saw that, that's what I'm referring to. But I just wanted you guys to know, this is what I was talking about. I believe these are available exclusively on their website. I will have them linked down below for you. But there is a bronzer trio, little highlight palette trio right here. And then of course there is a face one as well that has a highlight, a glowy blush, and a butter bronzer in here as well. So all three of these, again, I'll leave them linked down below. But just so you know, that's what I was talking about when I said Physicians Formula Trio because I haven't talked about it on here yet. But going forward and moving on from there, I did go ahead and I lightly shaped out my brows. But before we go into the eyeshadow, I did just want to real quickly finish up the cheek region because I think I want to add a little bit of this glowy blush right here. Just ever so lightly because this is a very glowy, almost like blush topper moment. And I don't want it to get like too overwhelming, but I just love this tone. And I thought this would look really pretty if I wanted to pull it up onto the nose. I love doing this with my blush, just very, very lightly. But now moving past that, let's go ahead and talk eyeshadow. Now I am having a problem. Go figure, it only happens when I start to film. I am incredibly like watery and red on my outskirts right here of my eye, my outer V. I do not know what is happening. It literally started watering right when I sat down and it has not stopped since. So I'm not sure what's going on there. It will, you know, I'll have to adjust my eye look accordingly. And we're gonna go ahead and prime the lids here with a little Tarte Shape Tape just to get them going. Now moving on to the Celestial Thunder palette here, like I mentioned, because my eye is watering like crazy. I will have to take it easy a little bit with this, and I think, but I still want to play around with something like a little bit different in terms of color story. Like normally I would go orange, you know, then this really nice kind of orangey brown, and I would go that direction, but I think I'll start off actually with Zero Gravity, which is this guy right here, and I'm going to start working that mainly on the outer V and then pulling the extra over in toward the center of the lid, and I'm actually taking this on a Kaleidos brush number S1 that they did send over from their collection. All right, now I love the way that that shade applied. I like that it was a really nice light diffused gray tone color and it is more on the cool side, which I feel like is giving me the vibe I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit here of my NYX glitter glue and I'm just gonna throw that all over the lid going out toward the outer V. And then I am very lightly over top of that in the center going to press the shade Eternal Light for a nice bright pop. And then near the outer skirt area of the eye, I'm gonna go in with a tiny, tiny bit of the shade Black Matter just to deepen it up a little bit but not make it overly deep. All right, so I went ahead and I got all of that done. I really, really love the way that this look turned out, um, but I did real quick want to just give you guys the swatches out of the palette so you would have this for reference. Wow, I really like this shade right here. I'll definitely use that later. It's like a duochrome, like orange to red pink. Ooh, that's pretty. But let's go ahead and move on to some other stuff next, and I think I'm going to give myself a little spritz with this little Kapari uh, Coconut Rose Tone because if memory serves, you can actually use this. Yes, you can use it um, after cleansing as a toner or you can use it just to like refresh during the day. So let's go ahead and do that here. Ooh. Ooh, it has a nice smell to it. Wow, that's nice. Smell really, really nice. It definitely gets a little bit garden hosey. Like the spray isn't like a nice light mist. It's very you definitely get the feel from it, but I like it overall. Like I actually enjoy that almost quenching feeling that it gives to my skin. That's really nice. Oh my gosh. And it looks so good on my foundation. Oh my word. It looks so good. I don't think you can see it on there, but damn girl, 
okay. All right, so next up, we're going to play around with highlight, and I do want to hit just a little bit of the glow from this Natasha Denona palette, and I'm going to grab the Kaleidos H1 here, and I'm going to take just a little bit because this really doesn't match my skin tone all that well. It's a little bit too dark for me, but I still do want to see, like, what's the glowy factor? All right, so guys, I, like, change sides and everything in the hopes that you'd be able to see that. You literally can't even tell it's there, and I think it's just because of the tone. It, like, blends right in with my face, but I also do have this, which was sent over from Kaleidos. They sent me over all of their six um, individual pan highlights right here. Boom. This is in the shade number three, Space Age. It's their Ray Rider. Wow, that's so pretty. I love that this highlight can be, like, built up and played with so much like you can work with it so it's just, just oh it's so nice also I just realized part of my problem might have been that I was so close to the camera so <laughs> my bad all right and then before I go in with anything else we're gonna go ahead and give our face another spritz here with the Farsali now, real quick, I am going to dive in with my Tarte Lash Curler and a little bit of my ColourPop Volumizing Mascara in Black on Black, just to get that part out of the way. All right, so next up with that done, we can go ahead and put on the final touch, which is this bright-ass lip girl. This is from Dose of Colors, and this is in the shade Date Night, and it is one of their matte liquid lips. All right, so I got that on and applied. I really love the color, but I did have an issue with the slight, like, feathering on the tip of my applicator. So I did go in with a little bit of this. This is a ColourPop Lippy in the shade Overtime, and I use this just to very lightly smooth out the contours. I naturally have, like, super crooked lips anyway, so it doesn't matter too much, but I wanted it to just be as smooth as possible. And I think just a little bit in the center, I'll grab a little bit of the Becca Gloss and just pop it on there. I'm just going to use my finger to apply it. And all right, you guys, this this is the finished face. What do you think? I personally love the way it turned out and I didn't even realize it, but the lip matched my nail. Like how does this, I did not plan this. This is so good. Um, I love it when everything just kind of like comes together. I feel like everything is very matchy. It's not overly matchy, but I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think? Were you a fan of the box? Like whether you got the premium or not, did you like what you received? And then I also want your guys' thoughts and opinions on the premium box. Do you think, um, kind of like I said at the beginning, do you think there's a little bit of an inflation factor there? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think like the that they screwed up when they did the waitlist thing. Like, what are your guys' genuine thoughts and opinions? I love hearing from you guys. Let me know if you'd love to see other videos like this, um, you know, where every month they come in. I will keep the, the subscription for both of them going. And if you want to see, like, an ongoing, hey, Paige, what do you come up with? What do you think? Let me know down below, and I will definitely make that happen. If you're not following me on Instagram and on Twitter, please check me out. That it will be linked in the description box of this video as well. I am doing a ton of little IGTV videos and photos and having fun, diving a little bit into the fashion-y, like, side of things over on Instagram. So it is popping day-to-day -day life, all that good stuff. So check me out there if you haven't done so yet. But above all, you guys, please subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I love that you are here and that you're sticking around. Um, and I'd love it if you would do so permanently and like tell the YouTube algorithm that you like me. You guys, I think that's everything. Thank you all so much for sticking around, for hanging out with me again. I do upload three videos a week. If you are not familiar, they go up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early in the morning between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I really wish that my eye didn't cry so much, girl. It's like a hundred tears and they're all crying for myself. <laughs> it's a very greedy eye. Also, guys, I really apologize. I just had to get up and go get my freaking necklaces and my rings. I was sitting here and I'm like, my fingers, they feel too free. Why, why can I, why can I move them? I shouldn't be able to. It's because I forgot rings and necklaces. And I just, I can't live that life. Oh no! Help! Paige, you should just stop trying to do up your necklace. Oh, it's fine. Two lights fell. It's not a big deal, honestly. I mean, it kind of is because it almost knocked my camera over, but I have to get these necklaces on. I'm that person. Please, 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 Lynn. Let's pop it on my forehead. Let's pop it on my nose. I'll literally take it anywhere. My God. <laughs> One for the bloopers. Okay. I need a mascara, mascara, mascara. I'm ready for my close-up, darling. <sighs> Just kidding, I'm not ready for any close-up. My God, please no. I'm not prepared. This video's off to a hot start. My freaking butt is sticking to the chair because I'm trying to wear shorts. That was my leg. You're welcome. <laughs>